So, I mean, there, there were a lot of, there's been a lot of breaches of trust with the people. The Iraq war was, uh, was one. The MPs' expenses did a, did a lot of damage. And I think we have a, a genuine problem in this country. I think it's good to be sceptical about politicians and politic, uh, politics generally. That's healthy. Yeah. When it turns to cynicism that we don't trust that lot, then that is very bad for democracy. And yes. that's what's happening well, with the current afternoon. Prime Minister. I mean, yesterday afternoon was pretty extraordinary stuff, wasn't it? Oh, yes. For, to have the country and virtually the whole of the Commons who don't believe that the Prime Minister tells the truth on a regular basis is extraordinary. Hmm. Absolutely well, extraordinary. Well, the fact that a police investigation has now become his shield and his cover. I mean, it's almost beyond the, <laughs> belief. The police who were present <laughs> all the time, because his personal security, the police officers on the door, on down. Of course. Police know what's going on. They don't have to investigate. Everybody knows what's going on. <laughs> it is a waste. Well, I'll tell you what I think should happen, and I've said it publicly. Labour should put down a motion of no confidence. Uh, we'll lose. Uh, because we haven't got the votes. But those Tory MPs who are saying that they they don't trust the Prime Minister, it gives them the chance to show it. And it also gives the Labour Party yeah. a chance to show these people want a, a known liar to continue as Prime Minister. Strong words, Graham, but shared by many people in the country today and quite a few in the Conservative Party now were saying it as well.